Hey, and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K22 video. Over the weekend, I had the awesome opportunity of trying out the WWE 2K22 creation suite thanks to 2K, which included Create an Arena. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of the latest women's wrestling news and more. Like our previous beginner guides, I would advise having somewhat of an idea of what you want before jumping in. Like Create a Superstar especially, there are a vast range of options to choose from so having an idea to start with can really help and quite honestly it can save you a whole lot of time and stop you having to go back and forth with every decision you make. This time around, seeing as we're entering a new game, I decided to make a WWE 2K22 arena using the purple, blue, white and red hues as my colour palette as well as the official WWE 2K22 logo. When starting your Create an Arena experience, you're welcomed by a series of options including Arena Template, Venue, Movies and Lighting, Stage, Ring, Ringside and Arena Name. One thing I highly recommend is checking out the template, even if you have an arena in mind. Seeing the templates may shift some of those ideas a little and restructure the image in your head. Among the templates available are school gyms and classic inspired arenas with 12 available templates to choose from. I decided to go with a generic style template in the style of the 2019 and 2020 versions of WWE programming that came with a bunch of wall and screens. Once you've decided on a template, you can then move on to the Venue tab, which allows you to select your venue, your crowd type, your crowd fighting pit, your time of day, which depends on your venue size, and the menu image. Within the Venue option, you have a total of 10 arenas and venue sizes to choose from, which include the Indoor Sports Arena, Large Outdoor Stadium 1 and 2, Classic Sports Arena, Small Studio, The Thunderdome, Outdoor Entertainment Venue, theatre, gymnasium and a warehouse. Each venue has different varying options including lighting, venue size and a crowd fighting option. Venue 1, the indoor sports arena, has the option for indoor lighting and the ability to have crowd fighting. This arena is similar to the size of that of a football or baseball stadium. Venue 2, the large outdoor stadium 1, has outdoor lighting but doesn't have a crowd fighting area option. This arena is similar to that of a basketball or hockey arena. These options are also replicated for the large outdoor stadium too, which although looking different, has the same specialities. Venue 3 is the classic sports arena, which is similar to minor league sports arenas and comes with indoor lighting and no crowd fighting option. Like Venue 3, Venue 4 comes with indoor lighting without crowd fighting and is inspired by television recording studios, similar to that of what we see on NXT. The Thunderdome is very similar to that of the small studio and also classed as Venue 4 and comes with indoor lighting and the ability to have crowd fighting. As the name suggests, it's very similar to that of the Thunderdome Arena, although with a live crowd. Venue 5 is the Outdoor Entertainment Arena and comes with outdoor lighting with no option for crowd fighting. The Outdoor Entertainment Venue is inspired by outdoor casino concert event centres. Venue 6 is the Theatre Venue which comes with indoor lighting and no available crowd fighting. As the name suggests, the venue is inspired by multiple level theatres or ballrooms. Venue 7 is the Gymnasium Venue which like the theatre comes with indoor lighting and no available crowd fighting and is inspired by high school or community centre gymnasiums. The final venue is Venue 8, the Warehouse Arena, which as the name suggests is modelled after a storage warehouse or training centre. Like previous venues, this arena also comes with indoor lighting and no crowd fighting. Once you're done deciding on your venue, it's time to pick what type of crowd you want for your arena as well as the crowd seating. Among the available options for the crowd shirts are fans sporting shirts channeling Raw, Smackdown, pay-per-views, NXT, the Reality Era, the PG Era, the Attitude Era, the New Generation, Mexico, Japan, Plain Shirts, the Ruthless Aggression Era, the Golden Era and WCW. Seeing as we're channeling WWE 2K22, I decided to go with the Reality Era selection which has t-shirts from current WWE 2K22 superstars such as Natalia, Jinder Mahal, Elias, Kevin Owens and more. We also decided to apply the WWE 2K22 logo to our seating with the option to customise your chairs with WWE designs, general designs, 
flags, miscellaneous images, arena images, superstar images, custom images, and group images. As I've stated previously, I wasn't connected to Community Creations, so I didn't have any custom logos, but be sure to grab some as soon as you can. You see, it may seem like a simple option, but it's really cool to see your own logos amongst the crowd during matches. Once you're done with the crowd options, it's time to choose a menu image for your custom arena, which has 12 different options, each focusing on a different area of the arena. My advice would be to choose the best view that shows off your arena, because it's bound to encourage players to download your arena if you upload it to community creations. When you're done picking the best angle, it's time to decide on what movies and lighting you want to apply to your arena for the likes of the billboards and titantrons and the overall crowd lighting. The movies and lighting tab includes main movie, ring movie, visual condition, electronic billboard and lighting. Starting with main movie display tab, you have the option to customise your main movie display and where that movie can be seen. Among the toggle options for the movies are Titantron, Minitron, Header, Wall Left and Right, Stage and Ramp, Electronic Billboard and other. This year's game comes with a whole host of movies from WWE programming, including Raw and Smackdown and NXT, as well as pay-per-views. The selection also includes some custom-made movies, including the updated General Purpose movie, which has been updated this time around and comes in a variety of colours. In a lucky move, the updated General Purpose movie comes in a similar colour scheme to WWE2K22, with red, purple and blue themes, so it's perfect for our arena. With our decision made, we can now toggle where we want that movie to be displayed. Once you're done with your main movie, it's time to decide on a ring movie, which is applied to the apron and ring post. Like the main movie, this list includes WWE programming visuals as well as some custom presets. There's also the option to remove the movies if you don't want them to be displayed on the apron and ring, which can determine whether you want your arena to look more modern or classy. When you're done with your ring movie, you can then apply a visual condition to your arena. This option allows you to add an overhead colour to your arena as well as customising the colour's hue, saturation and contrast to ensure you pick the best fit for you. You can also add and remove fog to your arena with fog adding a classic feel to your arena like WWE programming from back in the day. We can and then move on to electronic billboards of the arena, which can be seen in the back of the arena, usually used to promote sponsored products on WWE TV. The billboard allows you to use a movie or create your very own banner with the ability to toggle your option between entrances and matches. From there, you can change the colour of your billboard as well as apply images or patterns and the ability to use single images or tiling images until you have the desired result of your arena. Up next, we have the lighting, which applies additional coloured lighting of your choice to the arena, with our arena offering two available changes and the ability to pair or edit them individually. Once you've finished with movies and lighting, it's time to edit your stage with the stage tab, providing the option of stage design, stage construction, stage display, stage lighting, and light for construction. The stage design option provides templates from previous WWE events such as Backlash and Extreme Rules and various WrestleMania presets. Stage construction on the other hand offers you a much more personal approach with the ability to edit your stage piece by piece including modifying the Titantron, Minitron, header, walls, stage and ramp, stage announce table and stage prop. Each option comes with pieces used in previous WWE arenas with the ability to mash up and merge your personal favourites to make your arena truly unique. Stage display allows you to then go in and hide and remove any parts that you may not be sure with with the ability to hide the Titantron, Minitron, header walls and others as you see fit. Like in previous tabs, the Stage Lighting tab allows players to set their stage lighting with the option to pick colours as a group or individually, giving you the ability to set a whole range of different coloured lighting. Speaking of lighting, the Light for Construction tab allows you to toggle between how your arena looks during the creation process and how it will look during a match. Once you're done with the stage, it's time to customise your ring with the option to customise your apron, LED display, mat, ropes, ring post, turnbuckle pad and steel steps. The apron tab allows you to customise your ring to your full potential with the option to edit all sides at once or two opposing sides at a time. From here, you can change the colour of your apron, add patterns, lettering, custom logos and more. The same options are included for editing the mat, ring post, turnbuckle pads and steel steps. Whilst you can't apply logos to the ropes, you can either edit every single rope at once or choose different colours for different ropes on different sides, making your colour combinations endless. 
You can also change the LED display with the option to display a movie or custom image and the additional bonus of being able to toggle when your option displays, be it during an entrance or entirely. Once you've finished customising your ring, you can then move on to customising ringside with a floor mat, barricade, fence and an ounce table among the options. Amongst the floor mat options are preset options for RAW, Modern, Classic and NXT 2018 with slight differences between the four. For the barricade you have three available options which are the default barricade as seen on WWE TV as well as a steel barricade and an alternative steel barricade which has a cloth overlay. From here you can change the colour of your barricades as well as apply custom images and logos to make your arena unique to your style. Following the barricade options you then have the fence options which is somewhat similar to the barricade options but cover the ramp and the foot of the stage area. Among the available options are the default setting, the normal barricade with no lights, the normal barricade with bar lights, the normal barricade with circle lights, the steel barricade and the steel barricade with cloth. You can then change the announce table with the option of one singular table or two tables like prior WWE television. You can also edit the upper portion of the announce table to showcase your brand. Once you're finished here, the only thing left to do is give your arena a name and you're done. When you exit the mode, you have the option to dive straight into Create a Show, which gives you the ability to customise your replay menu, referee, show music and more, but we won't go into that today. I really hope you managed to take something away from today's video, especially if you're new to the WWE 2K series. If you did, please let me know in the comments below, or maybe you have a tip or hint you would like to share with the rest of the community. Create an arena, while seeming somewhat simple on the outside, can be pretty complex, so like in our previous videos, I would maybe suggest having an idea in mind to make your creation process simpler. Regardless, I hope you have fun in this year's Create an Arena mod as well as the creation suite as a whole and I can't wait to see what you make of it. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and maybe one day I'll step into your arena and kick some ass.